Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I'm going to show you how to define a custom keyboard shortcut in MuseScore Studio. And I'm going to do things a bit differently. I, I've, I've demonstrated this many times before. Probably many of you have seen this. Uh, it's always worth repeating because it's such a, a useful skill. And if you haven't seen how to do this, this video is for you. But also, uh, I'm going to be doing this a little differently. I'm going to be using the keyboard only in defining my shortcut. In other words, I'm not going to use the mouse in defining my shortcuts. And a reason for this is that it has only recently become possible to define keyboard shortcuts in MuseScore 4 using the keyboard only. The latest update, 4.3.1, finally allows you to define a keyboard shortcut using keyboard only. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, and I'm going to narrate this. And this is an important uh, accessibility feature uh, so that blind musicians are able to define shortcuts themselves using uh, just the keyboard and a screen reader to read things. So I'm going to go ahead and narrate what I'm doing as I do it, and whether you're uh, sighted or not, you should be able to follow along. So the first step in defining a keyboard shortcut is getting to the Preferences dialog. On Windows and Linux, it's under the Edit menu. Under Mac OS, it's under the Application menu or the MuseScore menu. So uh, I'm on Linux, so I'm going to press Alt-E, which opens the Edit menu. And then I'm going to cursor down to the bottom of that menu until I find Preferences. Because it's on the bottom, I actually could have cursored up and it would wrap around to the bottom. So now that I've reached Preferences, I can press Enter. And the Preferences dialog has two panels. The left panel is a list of the different pages, and then the right panel shows you the current page. So right now it's showing me the general page, but this isn't what I want. I want the shortcuts page. So I'm going to press Shift-Tab to move focus to the left panel, and then I'm going to cursor down until I reach Shortcuts. And now I can tab back into the right panel to actually see the Shortcuts page. So in the shortcuts page, there is a search box at the top, and this is where you can type in the name of a command or a, 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 a partial command, and it will show you all the commands that have whatever you typed in their name. So let's say that I am looking for uh, the, the manage parts command. I want to have a shortcut to bring up the parts window. Uh, what I'll do is I'll type part into the search box and this automatically filters the list to only show me commands that have the word part in them because otherwise it's a very 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 long list of commands you can you can potentially define shortcuts for so i've typed part into the list now i need to press tab to get into the list pressing it the first time brings me to the the uh, list header that gives me the the title of of things pressing it a second time brings me into the list and if I cursor down, I finally reach the Manage Parts command. Well, now I can press Enter. Pressing Enter selects that command and clicks the Define button for you so that the Define Keyboard Shortcut dialog now opens. And at this point, you can just type the shortcut you want to use. So I'm going to try Shift-P. Shift-P is available. If it wasn't available, the dialog would show you that fact uh, visibly on the screen. A screen reader won't read that information right away, but if you then go to save the shortcut, it will tell you, no, sorry, that one's taken. So now that I've typed the shortcut that I want, Shift-P, uh, I, I want to save it. This is the part that is finally working in 4.3.1. I can now press Tab to get to the Save button. Prior to this, in MuseScore 4, if you press Tab, it would just think you were trying to define Tab as the shortcut instead of Shift-P. There was no way to get to the Save button, but now Tab gets you there. So now I can press Enter, and uh, I have now created my shortcut for Manage Parts, Shift-P, and now I can Tab over to the OK button and hit Enter to press that. And now, if I want to open the Parts window, I just press Shift-P, and my Parts window opens. So that is how you can go about defining keyboard shortcuts in MuseScore, and I demonstrated it using the keyboard only.